Mira, look at me, baby. Mira, right here, okay? Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Multiplayer Casual, Rainbow Six Siege. Dayton does, doing the thing, as he does. Everybody knows, I guess, maybe. Probably if you're watching this thing, you know. Um, yeah, we had a pretty good match in the last one, so we'll, we'll hope to keep the streak up again. Um, I had a match in between this one, but I wasn't recording it. We did win, though, so that, that was kind of nice. Anyways, we got a secure area this time around. I think the last matches were a secure area as well. But this time we're on Bartlett University, which is one of the most hated maps among the community. I'm not quite sure why, necessarily, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, be Rook, I guess, since Valkyrie's unavailable. I basically tried to showcase the new operators in the last one. I did relatively okay. This time around I'm gonna try and stick with uh, my mains and hopefully that'll uh, reap some benefits. The new operators were pretty good too though. I got uh, the most kills on my team so hopefully we'll be able to, to keep that going as well. Who knows? Who really knows? We got Doc, uh, Mute, Ella, and Valkyrie which is a pretty nice balance, I suppose. Especially with Rook. Rook and Doc are uh, match made in heaven. People go down um, instead of dying because they have Rook armor and then Doc can just shoot him with his little stim pistol and get him back on their feet from across the room. Which is pretty fucking cool if you ask me. And uh, Doc can also heal people. Uh, and also overheal. So he's really, really useful. Um, I'll see if everybody grabs these plates. Sometimes people forget to grab their plates, which is not a good idea because, uh, yeah. Not only do the plates offer that little bit of damage reduction, but going down instead of dying immediately is usually helpful. Sometimes it can distract your team into, like, trying to come and rescue you, which is, uh, not always ideal, but for the most part, it does okay. So I'll barricade that door, and maybe they won't see me sneaky peeking this this little uh, sight line on the stairs, which is one of my favorite uh, spots to be on Bartlett. But it does also depend from which direction they attack. If they spawn on the uh, the far side there, then they might try to break through and come up through the library, which is I think where that is. I'm not a hundred percent sure because uh, I don't know Bartlett so well. Um, I don't know any of the maps so well, not like the back of my hand, but well enough. It will do. I do know that this is a decent sightline to hold as long as that window doesn't get busted open. If that window goes, then I'm going to have to uh, move my ass out of here. Or at least uh, back it up a little bit near the bookcase so they can't get such an easy shot on me. Or is that even going to work? Yeah, I think the down bookcase. I could, I could make it happen. So... We got one of theirs immediately, which is helpful. I think they're attacking from my right. Nobody's probably going to come up this staircase, but um, if they do, if they do, I've got the sight line on it. So this is uh, anchoring. A little bit boring. Those other guys are over there getting all the glory, but uh, eventually they might die. I might be the last person standing, and then uh, clutch victory. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm talking about. It happens from time to time. Believe it or not, Dayton does sometimes clutch a little bit. Maybe two on one, three on one. Definitely not four on one or five on one. <laughs> but hopefully one day I'll be able to get that down well enough. And there it goes. There it goes. Dead. Dead as fuck. I don't really want to keep this sight line because I'll merc Ella if she decides to stand up for some reason. So maybe from the other way would be a little more helpful. Everybody seems to be watching this. And then I've also got that hole behind me that I fucking made and nobody's watching that. So if I had an extra reinforcement, I could just patch this up and forget about it. But um, since I don't, I feel like it's kind of my responsibility to not let anybody into the fucking room. And there are definitely shots coming from down the hall. I saw that fella. Somebody else saw him too. One op four remaining. Merked him pretty good. Good job, op guest. Four has found the biohazard container. Oh my. That was a flashbang. But where did it come from? Friendly okay. Reporting. I basically op did nothing that round. <laughs> Gave people some plates, but um 
I don't think that was that helpful. At least we won. It's not about it's not about the glory for me, you know? It's about the glory for the team. If the team can come together and win, then then I'm a happy panda, you know what I mean? I'll go ahead and be Buck. He's like probably my favorite attacker. Oh Habana too. I like Buck Bar. <laughs> um but yeah. If I had to pick a main, I really don't pick mains because I like to play everybody somewhat equally. Um, yeah, on attack it would definitely be Buck. On defense it would be either, well, probably Valkyrie. I like to play her if uh, somebody's playing Rook already. But Rook is also like a staple if you're going to be playing defense just because offering damage reduction to everybody is such a great thing. Um, even if it just means somebody's living from one extra bullet, that kind of uh, protection can can be the difference in a firefight, well which is super helpful. And there's the biohazard container. I was able to scan Jaeger before he took me down. Um, but yeah, these second floor objectives, relatively nice for, uh, for Buff, seconds. because you can go under and open things up in the roof with your uh, underbarrel shotgun attachment and uh yeah you can just pick people off from from either under or above the object objective which is m the main way that people play buck from what i've from what i've noticed so w when you're doing that you just have to remember that the beams on most maps travel north to south so you want to be aligned with the beams so you can see directly up through them and something might be in there. Shoot this window out. And then I can get a grenade nade. And hopefully uh, not blow myself up like I did in the last video. Oh, there's an ADS in there. Uh, Jaeger's the only one that I scanned. I probably should have, uh... Probably should have thought of that. Just a little bit. But, uh, okay. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine. Watch the window. Make sure they're not gonna peek me. And let's get through here. Hello. Hello, world. And let's open this wall. Look at that. Beautiful. Didn't open it quite big enough to bolt through it, but I guess that's okay. That's just, uh, the Lord Jesus telling me not to go that way. So, okay, we'll come around the other way. Gotta watch all these corners. Rainbow Six Siege is just, like, super high tension. Especially if you're taking the game super serious. I generally don't, because I just play on casual mode, but I can imagine how tense things can get on the uh, the ranked mode. Casual mode even gives you an extra minute to get into the objective. So uh, I think an extra minute is pretty large on this sort of business. Go ahead and have a sneaky peek in here. Nobody in here, so I'll go ahead and vault it myself. And uh, maybe... Yeah, I kind of want to support Mong Tang here, but I'm a little bit scared. Oh, jeez. Injure. Kill. Hooray! <laughs> I got a kill. That's nice. Now I've got that hole to my right, which I made, and I thought it was a good idea. Oh, my goodness. Alright. There's another one down. 2v2. Kind of holding it even. Fuse isn't even in here yet. What the fuck are you doing out there? I know there's somebody to the, the right out there. Around that little corner. So, I think I should drone it. But I don't want them to rush me either. Let's get behind this desk. And then we can we can have a little sneaky peek. Here we go. And, hello? Anybody? No? Oh, yes. It's that Jaeger. Fart. Party Poopkins. And then we've also got a uh, Pulse. So I've got to take down Jaeger and Pulse. Great. And I failed completely. So. <laughs> hey, how's that? How's that? Wonderfully done. I wish my uh, aim was a little less potato, but it happens from time to time. <coughs> so, one and one. That ain't too bad. Still got a chance. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to aim for headshots. Jaeger is a one armor, three speed operator, and I think I hit him twice with that, uh, rifle, and he didn't go down, so that's pretty sad. Pretty sad. Ah, uh, but that's how it goes sometimes. 
Sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and try Mira this time around. Mira, look at me, baby. Mira, I'm right here. Okay. We need to protect the and Mira's power is that she can set up a one-way mirror, which is really, really nice. You can just, uh, at your leisure, watch the enemies as they wander around and do their shit. There's a little red tank at the bottom which you can uh, blow off if you want to make it into a murder hole. Um, but that generally isn't a good idea. Generally, it's a good idea to get the line of sight on them and then go towards the soft wall and maybe shoot a hole in it, knock a hole in it kind of thing. Down to 10 seconds. Maybe I'll try a mirror, a mirror here. Five seconds to insertion. And it's probably not the best place that I could put it, but um, yeah. Protect the biohazard Seems like that fella might time. want some support. And then I've also used my uh, deployable shield for mirror, so I can block people shooting from that window trying to uh, trying to open the mirror from from the way that I'm looking through it. Twitch drones can also come around and shoot those mirrors open, which is really foul, but it be what it be. I'm gonna go out here and try and sneak an easy kill. It does sound like they are out that way. Oh yeah, I hear you, boy. Come on this way. I hear him. He's just scoping it out. There he is. Boom. Glass is dead. <laughs> Sweet headshot, headshotty doom. So I'm gonna swoop back around this way. I mean, it's kind of a loose anchor, you know what I mean? You don't want to have to sit in the objective the whole time. That's what I did with Rook in the first round. And although that kind of worked, it was uh, not any thanks to me, if you want me to be completely honest. So I want to put up this second mirror thing here. Just make sure nobody's coming. And then I'll immediately uh, open it up so I can end up shooting through because it's got a uh, line of sight on that door. Gotta wreck some to win some. Here we go. So if they take hold of that room and kill Doc, it's going to be really, really ugly. Um, then they'll have a, a reinforced line of sight on the entire room. But uh, it's a, a chance that I'm willing to take. And now I've been tracked by Jackal, which is definitely not good. Probably those footsteps that I left when I uh, murked the Someone glass over there. So, I think you can sh shoot through these bookcases. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to be good. You are being I'm hoping that L is going to be able to, to help me out just a little bit. And Doc is dead over there. Changing so this back. is looking pretty ugly at the moment. And I guess Jackal's not going to come over here to try and hunt me, which is good. Oh my. And now somebody's using the murder hole, much as I suspected. Ah, oh, crap. It was not a good idea. It's okay to hold on to uh, your Mira mirror. But, uh, yeah. I always feel a bit pressured to use it. So from time to time, I do. And I put it in a stupid position. And now I uh, kind of endangered my whole team. Maybe I could knock my way through this bookcase and get a, a sweet line of sight on that little reinforcement hole. That would be a good idea. But uh, then they can also see pretty easily that I'm behind the bookcase. Doesn't look like anybody's lurking the stairs at the moment. And nobody's even going through that trap door at the top, which would be really, really dangerous for me. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to shoot that open because that would be the dumbest thing I could possibly do, but I am going to protect myself from this window. I don't think there's probably anybody outside with 45 seconds left in the round. But now I'll punch my hole through this bookcase. And I feel relatively secure. I do have that door to the right, but there's basically always going to be a line of sight that is uh, a little bit more open than you would like it to be. Because that's how it will be designed the maps. That's Rainbow Six Siege for you. Oh my. Somebody's going to be over there for sure. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Mark it out for the team and wait for it. Who was it? Down to 15 seconds. Probably Ash. Reached from like a long way away. So, I see seconds. that Valkyrie black eye up in the corner. Definitely not the best idea. Oh god. Shite. What even happened? 
Ying dropped her, her flashbangs through the, the top of the trap door. I thought I was going to get murked by that dude that was coming through. But nope. Got taken care of. Got taken care of. Was it Ying? That was that was pretty good uh, pretty good planning on her part. She's like, okay, put the cluster here and then I'm going to come on through. Let's try out Hibana. A little bit of Hibana action. We are up one, but uh, it seems to be a lot easier to defend on Bartlett than to attack. Uh, as I mentioned many times before, defense is just a little bit easier. A little bit easier. Sit around, scratch your balls, wait for them to come through uh, to the objective. So, hibana has got like pellets that she can shoot. And uh, she can open up three different holes, which you can use as a murder hole. Um, you can go through... Cr uh, crawling if you make it close enough to the floor. You can go through crouched if you pair two of them together close enough to the floor. And then if you uh, if you use three, then you can just make uh, a, a running hole, like well done. similar My to what Thermite can make. Needed. Thermite, probably the better operator, but Hibana does offer a little bit of uh, extra flexibility. If you don't really need the whole hole, you just want a, a little hole to peek through, she's, she's pretty good for that. So yeah, go ahead, break up them reinforcements. I'm gonna try and hide my drone in this display case. There we go. Hey, <laughs> look at me. I'm in a museum. <laughs> That's so fun. And then Hibana also has like a really awesome shotgun. Uh, the pump action shotguns, probably my favorite in this game just because of how much damage they can do per pellet. Basically, you only have to hit them with two or three pellets and they will uh, go down where the semi-autos take a lot more juice um, to, to take somebody down. But still, you can shoot them faster, so if you're good with that trigger finger, you just blah 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 blah. That's what I do with Valkyrie a lot of the time. It's just uh, spam. Spam enough to move close enough to uh, get two more in their face and they'll definitely be dead. But yeah, you can definitely take things out from afar with this one. Mm, anybody home? Oh, I see you. Ah, <laughs> oh, and I destroyed his EDD. Oh, that wasn't Capcan. Was that Legion? Okay, whatever. You're dead. There's another guy over there. Oh, wow. This is going really fast. Quite a match. They're already down to two. So, this guy's gonna chase. Yeah, look at that. Ha! <laughs> and done. Done and done. Piece of cake. Oh, and the Dayton does kill cam. It's my favorite one. Look at that. I saw him to the right, so I knew he was going to try and chase that person across the room. Unfortunately, still not the MVP, but uh, it's good enough for me. A win's a win. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Super duper. Good job, guest. Sis Pfeffer Dep Depple. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh, uh, we'll do another spin. I'm probably not going to win it, but that's that's okay. Anyways, friends. This has been Rainbow Six Siege. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. We have uh, Patreon links, Discord links, Twitter links in the description. If you'd like to holler at me on any of those, I would be open to it. I love talking to people, you know, get my daily dose of interaction, human interaction, stuff like that. <laughs> Anyways, join us for the next time. There will be a next time. I will see you then, friends, and until then, bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.